So my name is uh, Dr. Alex Beltis. I'm an associate professor in genetics and biochemistry at Clemson University. And um, this is a video abstract um, giving an overview of the article we've recently written. I'm a, I'm a bioinformaticist. Um, I use genomic data sets to be able to um, find gene interaction patterns in various crop species. And my goal is to uh, advance um, crop development cycles to make them make, uh, be able to develop crops more quickly. Um, and I found in the process of doing this that I'm a, also a big data scientist and have to transfer data across networks and process it very quickly. And I've recently found in the last couple of years found myself um, up against a, a, some pretty serious bottlenecks to be able to do my work. Hi, I'm Dr. Casey Wang. Um, I'm a faculty in the Clemson University uh, Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. And I'm also the networking CTO for Clemson's IT organization. So in this paper, what we really wanted to show to the readers is that there are multiple aspects of the big data transfer problem, and particularly for the genomics research community. On the one hand, what we wanted to uh, show is that there's actually a lot of available technologies in place today uh, that can solve the big data transfer problem, and that actually creates um, uh, an exciting time for a genomics researcher to think about how they can transform their research workflow. But at the same time, we want to also point out that um, there's challenges to that. Um, and there, to get all these technologies working in the right way together, it does require some complex engineering. And that's why we encourage uh, the genomics researcher to seek out collaboration with your local IT resources, uh, be it your IT organization staff or be it uh, your colleague researchers uh, within the, the IT domain. So as a, as a bioinformaticist a few years ago, I needed to transfer a lot of data and um, was looking for help in this area and ran into Dr. Wang and he introduced me to the concept of what a network is. And even as a bioinformaticist, I'm quite um, uh, familiar with lots of, of technology, but I really had never even thought about the network before. And over some conversations, um, we came up with some, some collaborative ideas worked together on, on some grant proposals and actually got some NSF funding. Um, and while we're uh, working on some of our, our projects, we brought in some help from the University of Utah and NCBI, part of the NIH um, in, in Maryland, and did some data transfer experiments that were really um, uh, amazing experiments for me to be able to transfer data much more quickly than I have been able to in the past, which includes, like a lot of people who do bioinformatics work, transferring hard drives by snail mail. Right, so uh, for anyone starting to look into the big data transfer problem, pretty quickly one will find that this is not really just a networking problem, but rather the whole ecosystem, this infrastructure involving computing, networking, storage, all the components have to be correctly configured. And to really get all these uh, things in place, we have to work very closely with uh, the people today that is operating these different resources. And like Alex said, um, this collaboration allowed us to look within Clemson and also out of Clemson with University of Utah, with NCBI, that we can work with the staff on all ends and try to figure out all the challenges involved. So, so it's granted to say after uh, we went through this exercise, we know how complex it is and we want the community to also uh, share these lessons uh, that we have uh, accumulated. But we're also excited to say that it is exactly because of this kind of collaboration, um, we are starting to build a community that look into collaborating across disciplines, trying to create um, a software uh, environment which can actually help simplify this whole process uh, so that in the future we can do these much more efficiently uh, and that will basically tie all the different technology pieces together through software. Yeah, and we and the, a lot of the people that we're, are, we've been working with very heavily from these different institutions are the co-authors on this paper, and we're all um, people that are working on the ground and making things happen. Um, we're not just lofty researchers. I guess I would be consider myself the lofty researcher end user from this whole whole perspective. But it's been really effective, and we thought by bringing together our thoughts and some of the things we've learned that this would be a great um, introduction into some of these concepts. That it's not just about the data transfer, but this, all these other issues that we've, we've discussed in the paper. 
Um, and I look at this paper coming again as the as the researcher end user on the project, the genomics guy, the bioinformaticist. So this is a great way for a bioinformaticist or a biology who's pretty tech savvy to get an introduction to some of these concepts and be able to talk to networking faculty, and network engineers, CIOs um, when they're discussing purchasing new equipment for their research computing endeavors and things like that. So that's the hope of this paper is an entree into some of this technology. Right, and we hope that you enjoy this and then you will seek out the communities around you that are actually pursuing uh, this collaboration and to try, try to make this whole uh, environment much more conducive to your research needs.